In this video, we are looking at subitems in Coda. Subitems are a way to break down rows in a table into multiple sub rows, and the hierarchy can be almost infinite. So each row in the table can have multiple sub items, and each sub item can have sub items themselves. So in this video, we're looking at how to activate sub items in Coda tables, as well as how you can set up an automation to mark the parent item as complete when all the sub items are completed. And this is particularly useful for a task table for example, or a projects table. But you can use sub items across any table in Coda. Here is a Coda page, and within this page, there is a table that is the tasks table. And that's where I'm gonna operate to show how sub items work. In Coda. At the time I'm recording this video, sub items have been in beta for a few weeks now and they're still in beta. So when I publish this video, likely there have been some developments in terms of how sub items work or their availability on multiple views because right now they are only available in table views and that's why in this video I'm showing only table views. So here is my table and I'm gonna activate sub items here. You see right now each row is a simple row, it doesn't have any total on its left hand side. If we go to options, and then table display. There's a new option here, sub items, and I can show sub items. Here is an explanation and turn on sub items. In the display column, I can set it to be the default. That is all the way the left on the first column in the row, or I can also set it on different rows like so. You can see that the toggle varies based on that. I like to keep it on the leftmost side of the table on each row. So that's the first thing. And the second thing to know is that I can go to settings and this allows me to see the columns because you can see that at the fundamental level, sub items items are a relation column in Coda. So when you turn on sub items, Coda automatically creates a two-way relation within the same table with two columns, one called sub items and one called parent. So each sub item would have one parent. Each parent can have one or multiple sub items. And if I go edit settings, I can also change the columns that I want to use. In case I already set up the columns, for example, this allows you to customize that more precisely. And now in my table, you can see that I'm able to open any row and create a sub-item like so. And the sub-item is part of the same task table in this case. So I have the same exact columns and data types that I can select for sub-items as well. And sub-items can have themselves sub-items. So, so you can see that the hierarchy can be practically infinite. And when I open the parent page instead of it, I can set up a view of sub-items. So if I go to edit layout and if you use a default layout, that will be automatically displayed for you. But in this case, I'm using a custom layout. So I can show the sub items column and this will show a table view of sub items in here. And then I can further customize it by opening any page like so. Then I can go to options, table display, and maybe I wanna pin the expand row button that I always like to have there. The new row button, yes, I want that. And I can freeze a column and I will not show this one. Then I can also select the sorting and I can select what columns show on the sub items table here inside the parent item. So I wanna show the as any project notes. I wanna show the status, that's for sure. We put it here. Yes, any first, the due date as well, something that I wanna show there. And that's pretty much it. Last modify on. And now let's also expand this in full screen so that I can adjust the table a bit better, just like I want it to be. This looks good. And now in the parent item, I can also create sub items directly or select existing ones from the tasks table. So in here, let's see also the customization options that we have for the column. You can see the column is a linked relation column. And that's what I was talking about earlier that Coda automatically creates two new relation columns to make sub items work. Here we are now edits and now multiple options. And on the option settings, we can also filter for custom filter. And we do only show the sub items where the status is any of not started in progress or blocked. Because if it is done, I don't really want to have it select from the sub items column and we now see that the options are more limited than before an additional feature that i want to add here is a percentage progress of the sub items so that if a parent has sub items i want to see the percentage progress of those sub items so i'm going to add the column here i'm going to select sub items status and i will select percent option sub items percentage and i will edit column this is a percent and that's great in the calculation builder i'm going to select the option that is done so i want to see the percentage of sub items done across all the sub items within the parent. So in here, it is 0% currently, but if I mark this as done, this goes to 100, which is exactly what I want. All right, now let's look at the automation to set the parent task status to done when all these sub items are completed. So for that, I've set up a new automation already, which I'm gonna walk you through right now. This is here, when all sub items are complete, set the parent task status to done. So the trigger is row changed, and in particular, when the status of a row is changed. That's the only trigger event that we want in this case, because when the status is changed, we want to check if that status was changed in a sub item. And if that's the case, we want to also check 
if the percentage complete for the parent item is 100%. If that's the case, then we want to set the status of the parent to done. If not, we do not continue with any action. So that's the trigger here. The second step is a filter. That means only continue if step one result, meaning the row that was changed, dot parent. So we map the parent column from the sub item that was changed from the row that was changed in the trigger is not blank, meaning that if the step one result row has a parent item and the step one result row dot parent dot sub items percentage that is this column here equals one meaning 100 percent then we continue so if both of these conditions are met we continue because we want to set the status of the parent item to done and that's what the third step is about so in here we modify row there is a formula modify rows so that's the action this function takes three arguments the rows to modify the column to modify and the value to add to that column so in our case we want to modify the parent from step one result so we map step one result dot parent then we add a comma so that we go into the second argument of the function the column name is status so we want to modify the status column that is this one here and we want to set the value in that column to done so this is turned on let's test it out we have sample two that's our parent item with one sub item for now so i'm going to set this to done this changes the sub items percentage completion to 100 percent and so after a few seconds the parent task status will also change to done if the automation works correctly and there we go it's been about 10 15 seconds and the status will change to done as well for the parent item and this concludes the overview of sub items in coda at least for now that's a new feature so it is still in development there are also other use cases that uh, you might implement with sub items for example copying the column values from the parent to the sub items which is not something that happens natively currently so that could be useful for example and that could be set up using an automation as well within coda but that's it for this video if you have comments or questions leave them down in the comments below for now thanks for watching and see you soon